Hi guys, it is another gorgeous but freezing, exciting Friday night in the end times in paradise up here, somewhere near the San Antonio Hot Springs in New Mexico on this uh, lovely Friday evening, October 21st, 2016. So. I'm going to go ahead and do what I do every Friday, which is bring you my ecological meltdown roundup rant uh, with, with no real understanding that I'm even going to be able to put this rant up on YouTube. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'm heading to Los Alamos in New Mexico. Maybe I can find some internet there to share with you my weekly ecological meltdown roundup rant where I simply go on my email pages to find the uh, latest examples of how this planet is heading directly into a burning lake of fire while the world's attention is riveted on Donald Trump's sex addictions. And before I uh, well, I guess it, it looks like Washington Post did not follow me up the mountain. But before I get to mongabay.com and Center for Biological Diversity, I want to share with you, oh man, who was my alert tribes member? Mr. Garza, I believe. Uh, anyway, my buddy from Oklahoma sent me this article from The Guardian which does not have the words Donald Trump anywhere in it. Unbelievably. As we see the world's mammals being eaten into extinction, report warns. This is the first global assessment of the bushmeat trade. Finds 301 species are primarily at risk from human hunting the mammals to put them in the stew pot. I've had uh, many rants on uh, on the subject of the bushmeat trade turning wide swaths of this planet into biological deserts, which is talked about in this article. Hundreds of mammal species from chimpanzees to hippos to bats are being eaten into extinction by people according to the first global assessment ever of the impact of human hunting. Bushmeat has long been a traditional source of food for many rural people, but as roads have been driven into remote areas, large-scale commercial hunting is leaving forests and other habitats devoid of wildlife. This is drawing the dots between roads and the bushmeat trade. This is one more reason that roads are as big a threat to the planet as the goddamn gas-sucking cars and trucks that drive down them. Anyone who does not understand this. <clears throat> the scientists behind the new analysis warn that without action, without action, yes, like what action? Without action, uh, the wiping out of these species could lead to the collapse of the food security of hundreds of millions of people reliant on bushmeat for their survival. There you go. What it does not say here is the hundreds of millions of people on the planet who should never have been born relying on wild animals for their food if these hundreds of millions of people had never been born, these animals would not be being driven into extinction. Once again, the word overpopulation never showing up in this article. Yes, 
uh, the, the report comes against the backdrop of the natural world undergoing the greatest mass extinction since a giant meteorite strike wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago with species vanishing far more rapidly than the long-term rate driven by the destruction and invasion of wild areas by humans and their livestock and hunting. I just had to chase a herd of cows out of my campsite here. Um, so this study was published in the journal Royal Society Open Science. Open Science uh, found m mammals that are primarily at risk from hunting for food. The number one reason they're being sent into oblivion is because of the stewpot found 301 such species representing 7% of all the land animals assessed and about a quarter of all endangered mammals. Other mammals are threatened by habitat loss or hunting for other reasons such as elephants which are poached for their ivory as well as their uh, meat. The 301 species include 168 primates, including the gorilla, 73 hoofed animals, including the camel, and 27 bats. 27 bats being driven uh, into oblivion because they're being boiled up for bush meat. Jesus. Uh, so this is uh, quoting Professor David McDonald from the University of Oxford. Uh, quote, there are plenty of things affecting wildlife around the world and habitat loss and degradation are clearly at the forefront, but among other things is the seemingly colossal impact of bushmeat hunting. You might rejoice at having some habitat remaining, say a pristine forest, but if it is hunted out to become an empty larder, it is a Pyrrhic victory. And this is what I talked about many times about this concept of biological deserts. That even if you keep the goddamn loggers and the cattle ranchers and the palm oil fuckers and, and the list of usual suspects, and even when the ecosystem appears to the naked eye to look pretty good, when you get inside, you will find that every goddamn animal in the whole forest is in the stew pot. Continuing uh, quoting this guy. The number of hunters involved in the bushmeat trade has gone up and the penetration of road networks into the remotest places is such that there is no refuge left. So it becomes commercially possible to make a trade out of something that was once just a rabbit for the pot. In places like Cameroon, you know, in West Africa, you see flotillas of taxis early in the morning going out to very remote areas and being loaded up with the bushmeat catch and taken back to town. Yes, uh, anyway, guys, I think... Uh, you get the, the, this goes on and on. I will try to remember to put the link uh, to this story from The Guardian. Um, if I can even get this up on the, on the internet. Uh, so, 
what is key to solving the problem? Greater legal protection for the species, empowering local communities to benefit from wildlife conservation, providing alternative foods, and bringing up the last line of this story, the very last phrase of this entire article, better education and family planning to curb population growth. There you go. There is one way to end the bush meat trade. It is the same way to end every other environmental problem facing this planet. From the bush meat trade to climate change is to curb the human population growth by whatever means at this point. Put the shit, rub it in the gorilla fur, if that's what it takes. There is one fucking species on this goddamn planet taking down 301 species, my ass. They don't even talk about the birds and the fishes and the reptiles and the amphibians. There's one fucking species on this planet bringing down this goddamn planet, and every fucking one of us with a brain knows what we need to do about it. We need to cut the fucking population of this planet down by about 90 fucking percent. 95 percent would be better, and 100 percent would get the vote of every single one of the, our fellow Earthlings we share this planet with. We're a fucking plague. We need to go. Fuck us. Moving along to Manga Bay. I cannot believe it. Uh, you will never see the words Donald Trump in Manga Bay's newsletter this week. I gotta turn on my gas sucking truck for some goddamn heat. It was 20 fucking degrees here last night. 20 degrees and on October 20th. Okay, and although it's not their lead-off story, uh, it's coming in about number five on their list of things to talk about. No shit Sherlock. I need a no shit Sherlock button. Study finds Brazil is not counting all deforestation in its official estimates. No shit, Sherlock. You know, I have personally been arguing with Rhett Butler, the head guy at, uh, at Manga Bay for several years, who is bought in to this unadulterated bullshit uh, coming out of Brazil that they were uh, protecting the Amazon rainforest. It's been bullshit from day one. All of this fucking crap in, in, in Manga Bay and to the mainstream media uh, for these years, I don't know, from when was it, like 2008 to 2012, somewhere in there, they, they, they started they acting like uh, Brazil, uh, the government of Brazil through that fucking planet-eating bitch Dilma Rousseff, who at least has been kicked out only to be replaced by a bigger planet-eater, lying out her fucking ass. That planet-eating hypocritical bitch, uh, didn't she host the goddamn sustainability UN form, forum or some unadulterated horse shit like this? When she was lying out her fucking teeth all along, I knew it goddamn well. Anybody with a fucking brain knew uh, that Dilma Rousseff and anybody else in the Brazilian government, the fucking Chinese government, the fucking U.S. government are a bunch of lying sacks of shit. 
any environmental statistic which all of these unadulterated horseshit environmental statistics you hear quoted out of the fucking UN is coming from, it's self-reporting. And, 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 and I've known from day one that this was unadulterated horseshit. And uh, there goes my fucking computer. There goes my, my fucking computer. Uh, I, I guess Windows now. You know, guys, I don't give a fuck. Caution. This is really the story I wanted to talk about. That in in, in the in the goddamn bush meat story, anyway. Uh, so what this story is 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 saying is that you know so for years for for years Brazil has been spouting this unadulterated horseshit that they were doing a goddamn thing to stop deforestation in the Amazon. Anybody with a goddamn brain knew that it was bullshit. And, and what I cannot believe is, is, is Rhett Butler, the, the head cook and bottle washer at, uh, at mongabay.com buying in to this fucking horse shit. Uh, buying into this horse shit and spitting it out uh, on, on Manga Bay, cheering in these lying sacks of shit. So what this story is talking about is, is how all of these independent satellite measurements of uh, all of these satellite measurements uh, independent of the Brazilian government uh, have come to uh, have come on board now and shown quite clearly that I think since I don't know since uh, Windows has decided to kill my computer I'm pretty sure I remember this they're saying an area bigger than the than the island of Puerto Rico that was obliterated off the face of the planet because of the, the usual suspects, you know, the goddamn uh, loggers and cattle ranchers and the sugarcane fuckers and the hydroelectric dams and more and more of this palm oil. And, uh, and, and, and even if you believe it's as small as, as Puerto Rico, got one thing to tell you. It's been, it's been business as usual in the fucking uh, Brazilian Amazon right on, right on along. And, and it's only going to get worse now that that planet-eating bitch Dilma Rousseff uh, has been kicked out of power. Pull your head out of your ass if you're one of these fucking clueless morons thinking for a god to believe in one fucking word out of the Brazilian government's mouth. And, and, and you can say the same for any government uh, on the goddamn planet. Jesus, and in which all culminates in, in the biggest uh, pack of lions, sacks of shit, planet eaters in the history of humanity, the fucking United Nations. <coughs> it, it, you know, it's the reason their goddamn sustainability uh, goals or whatever the shit they call those things, they're a fucking joke, uh, that Paris climate commitment by, by these goddamn bunch of fucking planet eaters in the in the pocket of the global industrial uh, civilization you know this goddamn planet is going to hell people and we're sitting here jacking off uh, all over the mainstream media, uh, you're talking about fucking Donald Trump, you know, I mentioned in a rant, which might or might not ever make it, the top five stories on the planet yesterday, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, were Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald fucking Trump! 
you get down to about number 15, and finally that evil fucking lion sack of shit, that fucking cunt Hillary Clinton, she shows up, and, and what is the story about her talking about Donald fucking Trump? We're fucked. So anyway, I might or might not come back with uh, part two of this uh, ecological meltdown roundup rant uh, once Windows decides to configure my fucking computer. Con configure this fucking Windows. I'm so, I'm so fucking tired of it, people. I'm fucking tired of it. Bye, guys.